uh, it's right off of the water. JROTC members too young for service are honoring their distant counterparts, those veterans that have served for their country and long since passed away. It all started when Ken McKay began finding and logging you, veterans' headstones. Like stone, back of the stone, whichever side you're doing, if you're righty, it's going about the graveyard and looking at the condition of the stones, something needed to be done. Nobody was taking care of them. Um, they had been forgotten, plain and simple. McKay's passion for the military comes from being in a family with generations of service members. I tried to sign up for the five branches of the military. I was denied on all five branches on a medical. I was not allowed to serve. So McKay serves the best way he knows how, helping take care of the headstones by cleaning and restoring them. He gets a hand from his friends and family, and more recently, the Beverly High School JROTC. A lot of times these kind of things are, I wouldn't say necessarily actively ignored, more of a, you know, there's other things going on, and people tend to forget sometimes. They've been gone for so long, they're Civil War veterans. They need someone to come care for them too. Even though these stones were cleaned two weeks ago, the solution is still working and they will continue to get whiter over time. The headstones are cleaned using a product called Revive that works for months after initial use, killing the biologicals on the stone. McKay doesn't get special funding, so all materials he uses are recycled or have been donated to the cause. The hoses, every, every hose I have, I've picked out of the trash. Uh, I, I, I've not had a budget at all um, to buy supplies. With every scrub, McKay and the cadets hope to make a difference. As each stone is cleaned, the generations of neglect seem to fade away. A homage McKay hopes will make a lasting impression on future generations to come. For BU News Service, I'm Christina Loeb.